Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Janet and today we're going to be watching The Wire, The Wire Season 2, Episode 5. Um, I'm sick again, so um, unfortunately I might cough here and there and my voice is a little stuffy, but I'm okay. I'm a lot better today than I was yesterday. If not, I would have recorded yesterday and I'm really sorry for that. I swear, I've been sick, more sick the past month than I've been sick the past couple of years. It's been pretty hectic, but um, anyways... Thank you for your patience, and this is episode 5 of season 2 The Wire. Um, I hope I don't sneeze and boogers just fill up the mic. My man. Aw, oh, come on. Ain't but 290 here. Stash got hit, yo. I ain't hearing that shit. I want my fucking money. I uh, think. Do you think they're withholding it from him? You best know I ain't playing, <clears> motherfucker. <throat> Fine, but when I roll back past here tomorrow, money gonna be right. Are you gonna see? I look like a fucking punk. Hey, was shorter. Give me a snap on the bag of crab chips from the corner. I think they are playing him. Oh fuck! Fuck! This is bad. Oh shit! Ah, what did you think was gonna happen? You can't just come into someone's territory. Come on. Some dough for me, man. Oh, jeez. Jackpot. Jeez. You think this supposed to get played some other way? Huh? Is that what you think, man? I really think Zig is weighing over his head with all the stuff. Like he really wants to get rich quick. There's no right way about it. And then I can get 700 more, buddy. By the end of the week. Two thousand. For this. Not even a black man can style that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? Uh. Look, man. I ain't paid by Friday. You dead by Saturday, man. Hey, yo. Take my man ride. Oh, my God. I fucking need that! Oh, that is so not intimidating. <clears throat> they used to make steel there, no? Why me? You don't want the post it? I'll take someone else. I'm asking why you would choose me after what happened last go round. Yeah. yeah. I was wondering about that a little bit. Why take a man who already burned you once? Who already proved himself disloyal? So he can redeem himself? I mean, I don't know. I don't think... Prove, yeah, I don't think that's strong enough. If I caught him once, he might be the last son of a bitch to try it twice. And I'm guessing you got enough shame on you from the last time so that it won't happen again. I mean, people don't change. I don't know. I mean, you're putting faith in the man. Maybe. As far as I'm concerned, those stripes on your sleeve aren't earned. Your paycheck may say sergeant, but on this detail, Detective Greggs runs your team. Yeah. Same as it ever was. There's no shortcuts to this. There's no shortcuts to anything. <clears throat> but he, this is him having a second chance to maybe do it right. Earn some respect from his peers. Come in. Man, you sweet bitch. Oh, my. <laughs> I love them. He's on his way in right now. Appreciate that, officer. Nice day. He doesn't look so good. He looks like he's falling hard. Yo, no pups. Melty to sail a man, huh? That's a fun. I love, so I love yeah, his character. There, and the way he acts, Bubs. Damn. You know nothing. What the hell is that? Baltimore not. <laughs> Baltimore, man. What can I tell you? My detecting days are over. Oh, that's old business. Remember Bird? His trial's up next week. Omar's got some witnessing to do. It's never over for McNulty. Ever. This number, you believe a message. As always, here. But I, got, I, got, I got to think that, you know, we need to think about what it was you had me endeavoring to accomplish. <laughs> I mean, in, in regards to that fucking unforgiving motherfucking Omar. <clears throat> it is pretty dangerous, yeah. Right. I go at him respectable. He put that goddamn shotgun in my face, man. Yeah, and they pissed in my pants. Man. He gonna stand there smiling like this shit is funny. <laughs> funny to him. I know I'm paying taxes on some things. I got to believe this is more aggregation than group work bubbles and a little bit of this. For your pains. She knows the doc's okay. No detective, though. 
In that case, you need someone fresh. You need to get your ass over to the southeast and today you're detailed temporarily. Did you just fuck me over <laughs> without giving me even half a chance to clear this case? Wait, why is he detailed? When I fuck you over, you'll know it. And you, Detective Moreland, are now all alone with 14 red names. But why? <laughs> the deck has a harbor view? Yes, in two directions. Looks like Federal Hill. Excuse me? This is the point. Locust point. Well, if you're interested in this area, I could run some listings for you. This particular house... It's my Aunt Treasy's. Nope. She's a relation to me. Mm -hmm. She died like four years ago. The family sold the house right after. That's so unfortunate. I bet that her family didn't get a, pro a big profit. They ain't gonna get that much, right? Well, I can't say for certain, but one just like it in the 1200 block sold for 340 last week. 340. 340 huh? Even in today's times. <sighs> Man. Maybe we should rent. It's tough. It's tough. They're a young family in a struggling city trying to establish something for themselves. Down at the Heels Union local has too much money. So to start with, you and Freeman are going to put some DNRs on the Union Hall phones. Well, a lot of these poor guys are white, aren't they? So keep a cob on the rooftops. It's my time at the front. Mm. Let me show you how it's done, Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> cool, Lester, smooth. Hey, oh, what's that? <laughs> oh, okay. Duh. Sorry. You know what? I was wondering how they were gonna tie this detail to the murders, but I feel like he's gonna be the tie-in. I, I should have pieced it together like two minutes ago, but now I, I get it. Oopsie. It's a temporary poster. <laughs> Rolls get you back at the end of the run. If he wants me. Frank Sabatka. Oh, this is gonna get interesting. You know the man. Me and Buck Morning were fucking with this guy last week, working that case about those dead girls in the container. Why are you guys on him? Because my father-in-law hates his guts, which in the southeastern goes for probable cause. Yeah. Alchek thinks he has too much cash. So you're thinking drugs? In this fucking town, what other crime is there? And that's gonna open up a whole can of worms. I got everything we need paid for. When you come home. String are saying they're gonna hook you up with something out of the mix. String said they're gonna keep you apart from it and give back some time for family. Family, huh? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. She's, she's a little too close to Stringer. Darnette, they playing you with that we family and it's all about love. That's how they do. D, they're gonna be there for us. It's because Stringer's been there for her this whole time. If you know what I mean. Got no end. Fuck y'all. Yeah, motherfucker. It just reminded me of Wallace. He's so young. B's young too. Oof. And this is just a normal interaction. People just walk by. Fiend bad mouth and that shit saying death rip ain't all that. So now we beating niggas ass over speaking the truth. <laughs> we stomping niggas over bullshit, man. Somebody gotta pull a stringer up on this. Wait, I think if I'm not mistaken, he has a teardrop uh tattoo. Oh, Jesus, see what the fuck happened? I took my money. They got princess too. Tell him the whole story. The whole story. You call the cops? I can't. It's over some dope. There we go. There we go. Such a righteous, stupid fuck. It ain't my fault, all right? It ain't. Oh my god, this guy. He's gonna drag you down, Nikki. Heads ain't hearing it, so I get jumped. He has the worst personality. And now they're telling me, they're telling me, I don't have the money by Friday. They're gonna kill me. Honestly, it's the people that say it's never their fault when it very much so obviously like he is digging his own grave like he cannot stop. One of my favorite sayings in the entire world is. I forgot how it starts. <laughs> uh, if you find yourself in trouble or whatever, stop digging. Stop digging. And this guy just keeps on digging. He's dragging Nikki with him. Twenty seven hundred. My God. So, your drug dealer can sell some fucking drugs. I ain't giving you the money. They're gonna kill me. I gave my money to Amy. 
<sighs> Security deposit and some furniture over at Little Pages. I got it for you, Zig. Don't take it back from Amy. Come on, don't do it. If <laughs> I don't know. I hate to say it, but like if you keep bailing him out, he's gonna keep doing it. But I mean, yeah, he's gonna die, and that's your cousin. You can't. Ah, <sighs> it's a tough situation. Oh, you the detective sly, you. Bringing us back to our old friends, supply and demand. I want to know what his true intentions for going to school are. I really do. What are the options when you got an inferior product and an aggressive market? Uh, uh, damn. Well, large share of the market, you buy up the competition. And if you don't? Of course, otherwise you operate at a loss. And worse, as your prices drop, your product eventually loses consumer credibility. That's what's been happening. You know, the company was linked to one of the largest fraud cases in history. So he proposed to change the name. Exactly. Hmm. That's interesting. I mean, Changing the name of the product or changing the name of the organization? Like, oh, someone new is coming in town with a new product, right? But wouldn't that cause trust issues? I would think so. <clears throat> Unless he's completely transparent, but you never know. And like open um, with his intentions in the plan. Um, but also, like the way that they talk, he talk, he really views this as a business. He's really, maybe that is the core foundation of why he's taking um these classes is to better manage it all and he just no emotion in it it's product product consumers consumers just as if it was a best buy which is really crazy to me thomas bakusa come on down the fuck is that grand jury summons used to be a lot more fun you don't have to be yeah but then 14 oh, dead girls popped up Johnny come 50. on guys how you doing officer johnny 50. what the fuck is that <laughs> grand jury for the circuit court of baltimore city the detective here thinks we know something about that mess he thinks we leave him there on the dock in a box dying there in the dark because, because but the question comes if you didn't know they were there, would he have done anything? Have want girls to die like that. <clears throat> Why would any of us leave him in there if we knew anything about it? Yeah. That's the key, if I they knew anything wife. about it. But of all the cans on the terminal, that's the one you lose in the stacks. We didn't know shit, goddammit! What do you say, Johnny? What do you say to any question? I take the fifth commandment. And if they offer you immunity to testify against your union brothers? I don't remember. Is it every mm. local on the East Coast? It's, we'll be here through your weak bullshit, no problem. You know what, though? He protects his men. And that, I gotta say, that's some respect right there. He didn't know. I, I want to think that he's a good guy. I like him and Nikki. Zig? Zig's just in and over his head. I want to leave the papers here. I'll make sure they get him going out of town. It kind of brings up that question that if you don't do anything, are you equally as guilty? You know, like, should he actively do something about it in the reality is a lot more complicated and difficult than that because he wants to you know he's worried about the livelihood of himself and his men because they have families to feed it's a they're struggling out there and um <clears throat> honestly he himself would not have enough manpower to bring down the the russian i don't know what are they russians the greeks they're greek i think they're greek sorry sorry um it, it's it's it's, it's Re reality is not easy <laughs> today no you provided this size and even suggested the manufacturer uh australian or one of those <coughs> a countries is that correct indeed i didn't think omar was gonna show up and like i said before bird always off showing that thing to everybody talking about this deed and the next mr little if you um if you wouldn't mind waiting outside, I'd like a few words with Officer McNulty. I think that's going to be hard to present to the to the court, I guess, because they want they want clear cut A to B. I thought he did good. 
Imagine the mileage Maury Levy gets out of me putting that sociopath on the stand. I can't have him on the stand looking like that. Here's a voucher for court clothes. No, oh, that's gonna be weird. Omar with a tie. <laughs> Even motherfuckers take everything, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> we know what they're talking about. They don't scare them, guys. <sighs> what now? An informant. Oh, that's what they need, yeah. No informants on the dock. They say a police is only as good as his informants. That makes sense. Meaning we ain't about much. You figure it out for yourself. I'm going across the street to the federal building. I'll see you in about a half hour. Yo, dickhead, where you been at? When you work in deep cover cop, you gotta get into the part. Oh my god, Herc. What's the part? My be, bro. You got any raw up in here? You got the sperm? For sure. That guy looks young, too. You copy this? It's all in the props, baby. All in the props. Oh my god, that's how they <laughs> that's that's the departments, that's the budget right there. We just switch up the signs for whatever is, is needed. Feel any different? <laughs> oh, JK, they updated it. My bad. No, I thought maybe if you guys have, you know, been pulling in any of the women who've been over here on the circuit. Step into my world, Virginia. <sighs> It's hard to think he'd get an immediate answer. They snatched up some of our guys, drove them downtown. But you know nothing. Horse is a rock. Don't ever worry about him. My uncle neither. I don't know. It makes me nervous. Makes me think he wants to go after them. Their interest is in the girls. A dead end. The Malacca they want. We already got to in Philly. Another dead end. So much behind the scenes. Anything you can say to the Greek, you can say it to me. Says he wants the Greek. They're messing with... with, with Business. I feel like they're messing with big stuff. What do you need them for? It's just business. It's not. It's just business, but okay. And it's all gonna tie together. With Stringer and everybody. Yeah? I think. Who wants a dime's worth of fucking chemicals? So you're really gonna go up there on your own time? I'll take a day, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't really know too much, but to be honest, um, what little I do know from trafficking is that it's extremely hard to get to the bottom of it, and that's why they say, um, that the first twenty four hours is the most critical, because then it's like getting lost into a sea of people. It, it's really scary. It really is. So what's between you and this girl? You seen what happens down at the morgue when they can't ID a body? I have. That's sad. Hey, but they, if they can't ID the body. Pretty much. I'm in the tower now, working the lanes. Maybe we could just go for a cup of coffee and talk, you know? Oh, she's trying to make a CI. So I tell him, D, why are you acting like that? You just sit there like I ain't saying a damn thing. Well, that's what I told him y'all was gonna set him up and everything. I mean, damn, he don't need to know about it all, right? That's crazy. Say, just leave him alone. I don't, I don't think he ever really wanted a family with her. Your father bucking this little man. What you think about that, huh? Mm, that's scary. Yeah. But yeah, why does D? Why is D not so concerned about his little boy, though? It doesn't feel that way, at least. I'm about to get my ass shot behind this bullshit. We're reasonable, that reason. Man, fuck that, maybe on your side of town. Yeah, this is this should mm -mm, this shouldn't be happening. You give the car back. I'll get him to sell it off. Camaro with a 350 in it. It's got to be worth more than three grand. That is smart. Yeah, but I don't know if this guy was willing to do it. <sighs> that ride ain't worth nothing near three thousand. <laughs> Did they? Oh, they destroyed it. Have a look. They just. Oh my God. <laughs> ah, that's stressful. That's really bad.
Damn, Zig. That's literally all of his money went in that. His extra money. Who else am I gonna ask? I ain't no snitch, BD. Not even for you or my snitch. I don't know. We had some times together, and even though, you know, he didn't get to where he might have wanted it, he's still a good guy. He's someone I could talk to. B. He has to be a really good guy. I don't know. You did good. Who knows? I don't know. You never know. You can't say you never know. Just try, try and get something that you want. Ah! I could show you pictures of how they die. Broken fingernails, blood on the wall. <sighs> All of a sudden, you're a cop. When a lot of what you're asking about is right there for the taking. How so? Oh, he yeah, caved in. Shit. Nothing gets tossed anymore. The records. The computer. Yeah. Damn. It's like he's betraying his his brothers. Uh, but like, ah, uh, I hate seeing false hope. Kills me. It's so sad. I mean, if he had uh, <clears throat> auto insurance, he could get well, his car. <laughs> good news and bad, Zig. It'll take a while, though. I'm still gonna kill you. They're gonna wait a week. Hope you guys are taking notes. Oh, he's catching them all. <laughs> Got a little towel. This business with the grand jury. We checked the courthouse. There was nothing special. Just the regular. Family. How do these guys always get it's someone high up? It is more attention than he expected. It's a lot of attention. Need money for his lawyers. Double his fee. But I don't need to meet with him. Oh. I mean, it's getting hard to hold on to the towers without our name all over that product, is what I'm saying. I mean, I'm cutting shit with shit right now, trying to cheat, but sooner or later... Yeah, they're gonna take a big hit. <clears throat> I don't know what the solution is. You working it out with D? Boy gotta find his own way. What are we doing with D? What's going on? Push come to shop. I mean, I've been fair to him, ain't I? Oh, uh, so he's he's saying, I've done what I can, cut ties if we have to. If he says no, he's no. Hmm. Is D going to keep resisting? But what about Danette and his little boy? I don't think he cares about Danette, but... Fuck him. Frank. Frank, he sent me to tell you that we're doubling your fee. I'm done. I'm out. I don't need nothing more to do with you people. I don't need the trouble or the money. I got a union to run. Spill per magnate. Oh, how I miss old computers. It's just a feel to them. I don't even give a fuck what they need this shit for. If they want it, they want it. <laughs> oh, God. The beginnings of the interwebs. I love it. For the most part, the new technology has changed everything. Frank here helped set the system up. You can probably explain it a lot better than I can. What this shows is the Aqua Verde at birth four. Now you look at the screen, you see that every time a can goes on or off, the computer creates a record and puts it in the permanent database. These handhelds use radio waves. And with all the equipment and container stacks out there, sometimes them waves get knocked down. That happens, a can don't get entered. Or just as easy mm, as checker makes the wrong answer. I see. He's lazy, he's like it doesn't beep. You're saying that's what happened to the can with the girls in it? Beatty, darling, I don't know what happened there. Might look like there's some kind of dirt going down when it's really just a glitch in the system. I don't know. He said a little bit too much right there. But it ain't like it's just that one box that went missing. We lose them some bitches all the time. I mean, honestly, I believe him. If we wouldn't know the backstory, if we wouldn't have known the backstory of him actually making the deal with the Greeks and everything that went on behind the scenes, um, I would have totally given him the benefit of the doubt of like, yeah i don't think he willingly actively knew what was going on with the girls i mean he still didn't 
actively knew what was going on with the girls he's still doing something that he shouldn't be doing but <clears throat> that explanation was totally reasonable to me they're playing us <laughs> yeah probably <laughs> what do you do you give another name why because your real name ain't no good all right it ain't good and follow through Weird how he's teaching them, right. like that a professor. How the knowledge just trickles down. So a fiend gets some bad shit from one, he go back to the other. And there's a thinking man right there. That is, that's intense market manipulation. <laughs> it was what he said, but he took it a step further. And you should tell your uncle it's three times the usual fee for each. Hmm. We, uh, Is he gonna talk to his uncle? We checked on those chemicals. Huh? Don't tell him that. that. Don't say that. I was worried. You use that shit to process drugs, don't you? Cocaine. You're making it snow. I still wanted, I got it on the Fairfield Piers. No problem. He's risking it again for Zig. Mariska. Of course, for his girlfriend too. She's good with English. They're dead. All I'm trying to do is get word to the families. What did she say? She wants to know if she knows a girl that she get to stay. Yeah? I don't know if he, they can actually do something like that. And no. You're looking for what? A pattern. For our case, we need to know who left those girls on the dock and why. So folding one investigation into the other makes sense. Not to me, it doesn't. They're putting gas into the flames. Bringing open murders anywhere near this detail. That's <laughs> he returns the favor, and I'm out of the basement and running an investigative unit again. You dirty me up with murders I can't solve. Mm -hmm. Play like that. We got enough room here for it anyway. Ah, uh, it's just landing yourself in a big old pile of mess again. You can sit up here at the offsite, and we can share information. But the murders stay with homicide. The paper trail. Nobody wants the paper trail. You find a suspect. Nobody wants their stats to be ruined, you know? Or to be the one labeled the the detective that couldn't solve it. This horse working the Wilhelmina today. I told that motherfucker we were done. I told him. Uh oh. Said it's triple rate for every can. Money talks, just like the Greek said. In the tower, tell him he's working the Wilhelmina. All right, it's now and never for us. I got no choice. The writing's on the fucking wall. Yeah, Fuck the wall. Oh, so yeah, oh, stressful, stressful. I'd be losing hair, anyways. Like always, it is easier said than done, and like always, like I always, I repeatedly have said that, um this show hits reality and it's just not black and white it's not as easy as hmm. it's not as easy as a clear clear answer right <clears throat> um i'm really sorry if any gross noises <laughs> can be heard throughout the video um i do feel better today that's why i filmed please expect the next video will be black cells and then the video after that i'll do another the wire for you guys to catch up on all the time that i was away uh thank you guys for being there with me and following through with this i can't wait to see omar in his court clothes that's gonna be great i still have some hopes bobs is gonna somehow make a way out of this and i am more relieved and satisfied seeing how the homicide investigation is connected with the with the lieutenant's investigation so here we go i feel like this was a step forward i'm really nervous about nikki i'm scared that he's going to be our next victim to be honest with you i really like his character i just feel like he is trying to save zig and that's gonna end be his downfall his final downfall i really do so i'm really nervous about that i don't know how the un these boys are going to get out of this mess they're like the middlemen and they're taking the most heat and that really sucks but we're gonna keep on keeping on so if you like this video please don't forget to comment like and subscribe the full video will be available on my patreon and i'll see you guys in the next video take care of yourselves